Hey there everyone, Captain Beards here, bringing you another 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross video. Let's get it. Alright guys, so as you can see by the title of this video, this is going to be a character guide slash showcase on the boy Rimuru, or should I say Slime. Now, guys, I did get him to level 65, got him to 5-star here. I did not get him to 6-star. Six 6-star six is a little bit of a journey, uh, as you can see. So, I just wanted to uh, do this first and then go through some trial runs with him and just try him out in a whole bunch of different things. I still have to take him over to PvP, but I see a lot of people giving this guy a lot of hate. Uh, a lot of people say that he's actually not that good. Um, and I'm here to kind of change your mind a little bit because he's actually a very good unit um, I built him attack and defense set here So as you can see I got attack on the left side here and I got defense set here I am going to be getting these stuff to five star today I was just farming up some uh, some treasure chests so that way I can go sell them uh, and uh, get some gold because I'm pretty low on gold So yeah, I built him more attack uh, and H attack and defense uh, focus on HP on the orb, so I got HP 8.5%. Um, so that's going to help me a little bit, and some HP absorption, which is not too bad. So life steal, which is not too bad. Um, so this is what I'm currently built at. You can build him either with attack and defense or um, HP and defense. So the hearts and uh, defense, uh, those are completely a okay, a -okay too. Um, me personally, I'm going to keep him on attack and defense just because I like seeing uh, big numbers. Um, granted, he is like Green Meliodas, so building him on the HP side is a little bit better, but you won't see those nice uh, attack numbers, so that's why I kind of kept him on the attack side. Now, let's go ahead and talk about his moves here. So the first move here, it's going to do 180% damage. I have my uh, thing on my other screen here. It's going to do 180% damage, um, removes buffs and stance on one enemy and deals 180% damage. So this is a pretty good move. Um, it actually gets better. Uh, no, my bad. Wrong character. Uh, first skill does 450% damage of attack dealt as to one enemy, um, but does twice as much damage if the enemy's buff. Now this goes through all those skills. So the damage just change, but that damage number is doubled if the enemy is buffed so understand that guys this right here is his bread and butter move forget about his ultimate his ultimate is good right his ultimate is good i take nothing from it i think his ultimate has a lot of potential to be extremely great but his damage dealing move is not his ultimate it's actually going to be his first move here you take his first move put it on uh get it to a three star right and then make sure the enemy is buffed, this 450% becomes 900% damage, guys. It does a lot of damage. Now, even if you don't get it on gold and you put it on silver, you know, 270. Like, look at that. That's doubled, guys. He's already passing his ultimate, right? Which kind of sucks that he does that, but it is what it is, right? Now, do understand, guys, that his ultimate, though, has a huge benefit, too. It does have a stun on it, so that is going to give you an extra turn to uh, beat up a boss or somebody like that or slow somebody down. So do not neglect this move, though. This move is actually solid. If you can uh, position yourself right and make sure the enemy's buffed, yeah, this move can do some serious work for you. Now, uh, let's look at his next move here, which is going to be his uh, second skill, his slime skill. Uh, increases the amount. No, my bad. Wrong one. I keep reading the wrong one. Takes a stance, which makes the user immune to debuffs for two turns. Taunts them, and at the start of the next turn, recovers 50% of health that has been lowered. Now, this last it only lasts two turns if you get it to uh, three star, um, and it only taunts them if you get it to two star. So at one star, all it's going to do is be immune to debuffs and recover HP that has been damaged, recover 50% of damage dealt as HP in the next turn. So that's what the one star does. Once you get to two star, it becomes a taunt. Um, and once you get to three star, not only does it taunt, but it also lasts for two turns. Um, this is very powerful, guys. This is very, very powerful. And if you're uh, partnered up with somebody like Bond, 
or you don't want your bond to take a hit, yeah, this is a very good move just because you can have him pretty much taunt, um, absorb some hits. He's immune to debuffs when he does this. Uh, doesn't matter which version you put, he's immune to debuffs when you do this. And on top of that, when the enemy damages you, uh, he's just going to pretty much uh, get some of that HP back in the next turn. So very, very good move. And then, of course, I already went over his ultimate, which does damage, and then it has a stun. Either way, you do it. Now, for team builds, I currently have... Let me go over to my team section here. All right, so for my team build, this is my current team. Um, I'm still working things. I'm still trying to switch up things and stuff like that. Um, I have no clue uh, exactly how I'm going to work things and how I'm going to get these uh, units to swap around and stuff like that. Because uh, I really wanted to test Ray Morale on like a kind of damage side team. Um, obviously, I swap out uh, King for Bon whenever I need more blues than greens. So, and then I'll put King there when I just need a mixed match. So, but my Meliodas, my uh, Demon Meliodas, I have him built up pretty well. So that's why I'm keeping him on the team. I know a lot of people say, oh, why don't you re run Red Gother or run your Merlin and stuff like that. I built my Red, red Demon Meliodas very high. So that's why I'm currently running him. Um, so I got two very powerhouse attack damage units. And then Bon is gonna be also an attack unit, but also a great unit for uh, support. And then King is also brings that support to the table and great unit to do damage also. Um, so yeah, this is my current team build, but like I said, I'm going to be switching things around, especially with the new units coming. Um, now, back to the boy. Let's go back into him here. Now, so when you build this guy, guys, make sure you build him either HP and defense or attack and defense, and just really focus on getting those attack numbers up so that way you can see some damage from him. So that's my only tip for that. Uh, second tip would be you got to strategize with this guy. Unlike Demon Meliodas, the one thing about this unit is that he does not just do a lot of damage, right? He, you have to make sure you set him up to do a lot of damage. Now, obviously, I have mine built up on attack, so he's going to do a lot of damage regardless. But if I set him up, he's going to do even more damage, and it's going to be absolutely lethal. So make sure you guys are using him in that manner. If you just decide to just throw some stuff on him and go use him, then you're gonna be like everybody else and think he sucks. Now going over to his passive, his pass passive is a little weird. I, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, pretty much what it does is when you take damage in the next turn, he's going to increase his defense related abilities by 8% and that stacks up to five times. So defense related abilities means this move here. So pretty much you want him to take damage and then you want him to proc uh, the bubble. The reason being is because so that way, once he does proc the bubble, he's gonna take like zero damage. It's it's insane. If you get this to stack five times, it yeah, it's stupid overpowered. And then you pop, uh, proc the bubble, the slime, and it's just, he'll tank everything, like everything, so. Yeah, this guy's actually a very good unit, and I definitely think if you guys get him, make sure you build him because he is 100% worth it. Now, let's head over. Now, before we head over to the showcase, I am going to talk about one little thing that I forgot to mention in yesterday's video. Uh, there is a rumor, I should say, going around that we might get another banner, right? And the other banner might contain... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other banner might contain the two other units, so the other banner might be uh, her, him, and most likely SR Slime Rimuru. Um, so if that's the case and Rimuru's banner is going to stick around, I definitely say uh, probably go on their banner uh, a lot more than Rimuru's because they're looking a lot, they're looking a lot better than Rimuru if I'm going to be honest with you guys. But we'll see, you know, we got to test out the units to be 100% certain because you guys know me I like to test the units first before I go right into the meat and say hey this unit sucks no I like to test them out because a lot of people said this rumor was sucked and now that I tested him out I think he's actually really freaking good all right let's go over to a uh, uh, mission here so you guys can see your boy Rimuru in action all right guys so I thought what better place to showcase the boy Rimuru than in the raid itself because we all know in the anime he whooped that ass but besides that let's go ahead and uh get this raid started so i did get a very strong teammate fortunately 
um this raid is really tough guys if you don't have a strong teammate guys you are going to struggle with this raid so make sure you understand that you either need Rimuru or you need dn and if you don't have those two at least have coin shop go through so you can support your teammate um let me go ahead and get a move here uh open that up and let's see if i could do I'm gonna get one more move there. I was gonna, I was gonna go for an opening up and start, you know, chipping damage at him, but we're just gonna wait a little bit here. Try to go based off of my teammate right now. See what he's gonna do. Hopefully. Okay, let's see. Alright, not too much deeps there. That's not too bad. Oh, he must have used the one that gives him immunity to the, uh, the poison effect or whatever it is. Uh, just trying to do attacks that open him up. That's all. Who do you give it to? His DN? Yeah, that's understandable. He's very strong. Alright, I just opened him up. Nice. Should be able to do a lot of deeps here. A lot. And then his Deanne should be able to hit him hard. Let's go. Is there a bug there or something? He like took no damage there. That was weird. Okay. Okay. A little tripped up by that. Alright, I gotta get rid of these melee cards because they're kind of like in the way right now. Um, there you go. Yeah, his freaking. His. Yo, his king is strong as shit. Alright, we're doing some damage. Nothing too crazy here. But we're, we're getting there. Okay. Alright, so I got a two-piece for our boy Rimuru. So should be able to do quite a bit here. Oh, he's going to hit us with a special. Here we go. Rimuru is just like... He's like, yo, that ain't nothing, dude. Alright. Go ahead and drop his shield again. And then see if we can hit him with this. Hopefully he used that on my boy Rimuru. Because if he used that on my Rimuru, then the damage will open up. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I just opened him up. Alright, then I got that. Okay. Hey, what the hell did he do? Used it on himself? Damn, dude. Yeah, this makes me want to go grab Coin Shop Gother. <laughs> if I'm going to be real with you guys. Just because it's like... So much so much potential in coin sh with Coin Shop Gother. Like, I feel like I could do this mission very easily if I had Coin Shop Gother. Because I would get rid of... um. Demon Meliodas and put Coin Shop Gother on. Alright, so let me do this. Then. That. That's pretty much all I got. Ooh, man! Let's go, 68k. Oh, we might beat him here. Oh man, we almost beat him. I think Rimuru was gonna die this turn. Oh no, he ain't. But he's gonna die. That yeah, he's definitely gonna die this turn. Oh, I wish he survived. Oh, please survive. Reem, don't die, please. No, no, no. <laughs> I wanted to use a special. That would have been so sick. That's all good though. We won though, for sure. Let me go ahead and use this card real quick. There we go. Uh, okay. 
You're gonna heal up, all right? Smart, smart. Yeah, I didn't farm the um the special food that makes the incinerate that means makes you immune to incinerate. Um, I didn't want to farm it because I was just like, you know, I just want to hurry up and hop into this mission. Um, I hope this guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, he should. He's got a level 70 team. He's, he's good. Ouch. Alright. I mean, it's pretty much on you, dude. I can't really do nothing. Fossilization. Is this a GG? Nope. Damn, I need a Remuro. Stay alive. Alright guys, well, you guys know that this raid is actually pretty tough. Even on the lowest difficulty, this raid is not easy, guys. Obviously, I'm still training my Remuro. Um, I don't have sh Coin Shop go through, but I'm, I'm literally like seconds away th from snagging them. Just because we're going to get so many coins from that, uh, the character that they give you. Lilia, whatever her name is. You're going to get a lot of coin dupes of her, so I might just go grab Coin Shop go through. I know I could wait till Monday, but I don't know. This raid is going on, and I kind of need Coin Shop go through myself, so... I think he would be very worth it. Almost got a finish there. Don't kill my boy. No, nope, I'm dead. I am GG, but he should be able to do this. Yo, that Reamer was 68k though. Ah, man, I wish I would have seen his special though. Uh, if I didn't use the slime and he didn't attack me. May have been able to see it. That would have been dope. Almost there, dude. One more shot. Nice. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that helps you on Rimuru. He's an awesome character, guys. Do not count him out. I know a lot of people are giving him uh, some, uh, some dirty looks and stuff like that. They're like, oh, man. He's not that great. But he's an awesome character, guys. Seriously, like... Go build them up and just have fun with them because you will not regret it. Other than that, guys, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's your boy, Captain Beers. As always, stay positive. Peace out.